What is good people? Today, what we're gonna do is a home workout routine that you can do at home. Uh, people always request it, so I thought I'm gonna finally actually do it. Uh, so stay tuned to it. This workout will be including weights as well, so if you have dumbbells, this is perfect for you at home. Uh, for those of you that may not wanna go to the gym because you've got gym anxiety or you just can't afford to go to the gym, this is a nice little workout you can do at home which incorporates some very good exercises that hopefully will help you improve your body and make some gains. Right now we're in my spare room and we're going to get into the workout. Uh, the key thing with any sort of workout routine is key compound moves. If you don't know what a compound move is, it's basically a big exercise that works more than one muscle group. So if you ever see someone do like a chest press with some dumbbells, that's working your chest and your triceps. Whereas just doing bicep curl is just working your one bicep, which is a very small muscle group. So if you want to like really improve your physique, research into compound moves, feel free to Google them. But the foundation of this exercise I'm going to show you today is going to have a lot of those. So first off, what we're going to do is start off with deadlifts. Before we get into the main workout though, I'm going to show you a quick, tiny little uh, run through of my little warm up. Right, so everything I'm going to show you guys today, the reps or repetitions, basically how many you do, is going to be between 8 to 12, but it really does vary depending on what weight you have. If you have some heavy weights in your house, go to the more lower end, like 8. Uh, if you have like lighter weights, go for more 12. In the event that you have really, really heavy weights, feel free to, on the big compounds such as the deadlift and the rows and the things I'm going to show you, do 6 reps. So yeah, let's get into this workout right now. So what we're going to move on to next is the deadlift, which is the main exercise we're going to do. The deadlift is virtually a full body exercise because you're basically squatting into the movement. You also lift up with your legs. You use your lower back and your core as well to stabilize yourself on the way up. And then you also use your arms to help pull the bar up as well. So it's a very good compound. It's probably the best compound move you can ever do. So feel free to Google it and make sure that you learn how to do it correctly. I'm going to use a barbell, but you can actually do it with a dumbbell as well. So I'll show you both. What we're going to move on to next is the dumbbell row. So what we're going to do is use the bench. Obviously, if you don't have a bench in your house, you can just use a chair. It's that simple. Because all we're basically going to do is kneel on the chair or the bench and just row like that. The main thing is try and make this arm get parallel. So don't just do that. If it's too heavy, lighten the weight. The key thing is range of motion. You don't need to go past it like that either. As long as you hit at least parallel, you're doing good. Next up, what we're going to do is the overhead press. This, again, can also be done with a dumbbell or a barbell. I'm going to use a barbell here, and I'll probably show you dumbbell as well. Uh, but the key thing is that you do it with strict form. Don't be shaking and wobbling. If you are, it's probably too heavy for you. But it's a very good exercise that helps build up the shoulders. Next up, what we're going to do is focus back on the legs because we don't skip legs even if you're training at home. So we're going to do lunges. Lunges is a really, really good exercise for legs. Trust me, it burns the glutes, the hamstrings, everything. It's a really good over overlooks one. If you have a garden, I would suggest even going outside and doing walking lunges as walking lunges are actually better than just staying in one place. But we're in a room. Let's stick to basics. So you lean forward. Try and not make this knee hit the ground. Try and get it before. So you go boom. Bam. All right, people, next up, what we're gonna do is some incline uh, dumbbell press, a very good chest exercise. So we're gonna hit them with the dumbbells now. Control the weight though, always control the weight. Don't be flailing, if it is, Drop the weight. Oh, 
obviously I do know that not everyone has a bench press so you can just do push-ups if you can't do that obviously it's not going to be as as much as resistance as using an actual weight unless you have plates where you can just put it in a rucksack and put it on your back with the weights in it that's also a good alternative to get a nice bit of chest exercise if you go for the push-ups try and go for at least 10 Hopefully so far the exercises haven't been too too taxing for you and you can keep up with them pretty good. Please let me know in the comments how you're feeling so far. Obviously you can do many home workouts depending on what equipment you have. For example I have an actual pull-up bar so if I zoom out a bit can you see it? I have a bar where I can actually do things like leg raises. But as I know a lot of you may not have like extra equipment like that to do like leg raises, the, the abex size what we're going to do is just a mountain climbers. I'm going to show you them right now. It's a very good exercise, a very cardio based exercise. So you'll work up a sweat, but it's very good like home workout if you haven't got anything because you don't need no weights or dumbbells. It's just simply you and <laughs> space, human space is all you need. All right, so mountain climbers, literally all you have to do is put your arms shoulder width apart, have space so your legs can go all the way back. And then what you do is this repeatedly, why we're doing this one, I wouldn't count reps, I'd count seconds, so I would say do it, just get your phone next to you, put the timer on 30 seconds and do as much as you can in 30 seconds. If 30 seconds is too much, do 20 seconds. If 20 seconds is too much, do 15 and then gradually over time, move it all the way up. Never underestimate natural lighting people from like a window. If you want to get good pictures for Instagram, <laughs> get near a window. Anyways, things to note, this workout will probably take you around an hour or so. I've only done two of each thing, and I'm actually working up a sweat myself. You can see I'm sweating. So if you do a proper workout, like do the full thing, doing three to four sets of every single thing I've shown you right now, I guarantee you will be working up a sweat. And in about a few months time, if you take progress photos, you will definitely see a difference. And if you do, please be sure if you stick to it, hit me up and let me see the differences and transformations that you've done. I'm always interested in keeping up with people to see how they've done after like learning my routines. If you would like to see more workout routines at home, if this video does well and it gets a good amount of likes, I will definitely do like another version, whether I do it more intense or not, let me know down below in the comments. I just wanted to make sure there was a nice routine for many of you to follow. I try to use as minimal equipment as possible, but my biggest advice for those of you that want to really improve your physique and have like a really fundamental difference, like change your body frame, resistance, needs to be done so weights or something that adds resistance cardio exercises at home alone it's good for like working up a sweat and I guess burning like losing weight but if you want to actually try and build a little bit of muscle you do need to get some sort of um, resistance training into your actual routine whether it's weights or even if you use cables just something and then gradually over time it needs to increase the resistance so increase the weight and you will see some differences and some good changes in your physique Anyways, people, peace out, stay getting gains, and hopefully I'll see you in the next video. Subscribe if you're brand new, and I'll see you in the next one, peeps.